welcome welcome back to my channel it's Tonya SD's mindset coach for those of you who have subscribed thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for those of you who are new stop for a moment take a look at my uploads if you like what you see hit the notification so you'll be notified of my next upload give me a thumbs up and subscribe down below thank you very much my channel <clears throat> is about mindset, making money online, meditation, law of attraction, and spiritual awakening. <clears throat> I got a frog, so forgive me. Today, I'd like to talk about three of those. Mindset, law of attraction, and spiritual awakening. So, 95% of our life is subconscious autopilot repetition we do the same thing over and over we get up certain time we jump in the shower we clean our body from head to toe or toe to head or hand to feet to whatever however you want to do it we brush our teeth the same way we get dressed the same way <clears throat> we make our coffee and drink it we peruse Facebook or check out the news or watch the news read the newspaper whatever it is we drive to work the same way we come home the same way it's all repetition autopilot subconscious you don't even think about it have you ever been on the road and driven right past a stop that you wanted to do on the way home thinking you're going home <laughs> I am guilty guilty I am I am such a homing pigeon and I don't even think about it it's just like I'm heading home I forget to stop at the store I forget to stop and get gas I'm just heading home subconscious autopilot it's like I'm dreaming I'm 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 not really living life I'm just in in a daydream days five percent of it we are actually consciously making decisions, whatever those decisions are. And I just want to give you a little scenario as to what can happen and what does happen to your brain through all of that. So say you live in a state of guilt, shame, fear, anger, and that's what your life is. <clears throat> What happens is when you are living in that, your mind doesn't know if it happened today or yesterday. So when you say you were at work yesterday and somebody upset you, okay, they pushed the wrong button and something was said and it just set you off. So you go home, you dwell on it, you wake up the next day, you're, you're kind of okay maybe you're upset <clears throat> but as you're getting ready for work it triggers that I have to confront that guy and see that guy today or or gal whoever it may be that hurts you or made the comment or whatever and you start getting those same feelings you had yesterday when the, when it happened and by the time you get to work you are, are just all fired up your stomach is in knots and you're just like rah, rah. <laughs> my husband goes what is that again <laughs> anyways your body if you're living in that and living in your past your past fears hurts anger all of those negative energy stuff <clears throat> you living in all that negativity what happens with your neurotransmitters in your brain is they rewire for guilt, shame, fear, anger, frustration, whatever that negative stuff is. So you have different neurotransmitters that transmit negativity and then ones for positivity. They should go like this, but I don't have 10 fingers. To, I mean, I have 20 fingers. Anyways, positive is one, negative is another. It ends up reprogramming your mind to where you think that this is the way I am, this is the way I'll always be, and this is what life is. And that's not true. 
it's part of that sleepwalking 90, 95% of the stuff that living there subconsciously. But when you purposely choose to step out of that, your body is so used to that feeling of gate, guilt, shame, fear, anger, that it's kind of like an addiction. Your brain is wired for all of that negativity stuff of years of, of living that way, that when you step out of that to try and change it, your body's so used to feeling that way, it wants to pull you back into it, just like the addiction does, just like addiction does. Addiction rewires your brain to go after those cravings and crave that dopamine that makes those feel-good feelings. So does the, the guilt, the shame, and the anger, and the hurt. It rewires your brain, and then we get stuck in that. So to step out of that, your your body goes, what is going on? This is uncomfortable. I'm not used to these feelings. And so it tries to pull you back in there going, okay. So it shoots up little neurotransmitters up to the, the central nervous system in your brain, and it goes, hey, um, this doesn't feel right, and it doesn't kind of sly. I got an itch right there. It feels kind of sly to where it, you think it's your thoughts and your stuff, but it's your body telling you that because it's on autopilot. <clears throat> so when you, when you step out of that, it shoots up those things and tries to get you to pull back in. You have to become aware and notice what you're noticing in all of that. So that talks about your mindset. So you have to be aware of what is going on in that negative stuff and it's trying to pull you back into the negative. It's really easy because you've been living there for so long. But when you step out of that, you, you're not used to those feelings. And so your brain has to run new neurotransmitters for the new feelings and the new happiness and the new chemicals. It's all a chemical reaction. Guilt and shame and fear is all chemical reactions versus the, the happiness. That's more your, I believe it's your cortisol, your fight or flight stuff and just, you know, whoa, it was me. Whereas your dopamine lifts you up and it makes you happy and all that stuff. It, ha it has to rewire to the new happiness feelings instead of the, the, the low is me. Think about this, if you are living in that state of fear and anger, I call it a porcupine state. You're, you're just, you, nobody wants to get near you. And so how are you supposed to attract anything? This is where the law of attraction comes in. If you're living in that negative stuff and that negativity all the time, the law of attraction says, that's what you're going to draw, is the negativity. Oh, my allergies are just getting me today. So you're just going to draw that negativity stuff. Who wants to live in negativity? You, you don't consciously choose to live there. That's just all you really know because you've been there for so long. Because if you look from the outside into your life, you'd be going, whoa, I don't want to live there. So, you, but you're so used to it. So the law of attraction says, if that's the negative stuff, you're going to put out negative stuff and negative feelings and negative, all negative stuff, you know, sadness and anger and frustration and, and just, yeah, you know, then that's what's going to come back at you. Whereas if you have the attitude of gratitude and you change your thinking, Gratitude is on a different vibration level, and it's on the same vibration level as abundance. It's a totally different vibrational level of the negative stuff, the anger and the frustration. You cannot be grateful and angry at the same time. So what I'm asking you to do is I'm asking you to, when you're feeling that, find things to be grateful for. Little things. I mean little things. I am grateful I have air. I have air, fresh air. I live in North Idaho. It, the air is crisp and clean here. 
<clears throat> excuse me, crisp and clean air. I have my sight. I can see my grandchildren grow up. I can see my beautiful husband. I think he's absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> I can see my handsome son. I can see my beautiful daughter-in-law. I can see the beautiful mountains that I am surrounded by, covered in snow right now, and it's just beautiful. I live in what I call God's country. It is gorgeous up here. If you ever come to North Idaho, Coeur d'Alene, Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. I live just outside of that, but Coeur d'Alene, Idaho, it has a beautiful resort. I'm getting off, off things. I'm just talking about being grateful. Because when you are grateful for the little things, I'm grateful I can hear. I love music. I'd rather have music any day versus um, watching TV or even perusing Facebook. The only thing I have Facebook for is to connect with the people that I'm networking with and to support them as they have supported me. But finding gratitude in the little things, the littlest things. You have, you have a warm bed, you have a house, you have a roof over your head, you have, I shouldn't say a house, a roof, just a roof in general. Um, you have uh, power and you have water, you have food in your stomach, you have a vehicle. It may not be the best looking vehicle on the road, but it's a vehicle. You may have problems here and there because that's just life. Things break down and you just have to fix them. But you don't live in that. Don't live in that negativity. Because if you live there, that's what's going to happen to your brain. And you're going to become a porcupine. And who wants to be near a porcupine? Who wants to love on a porcupine? Who wants to even be around them? You know, you can't you can't love on them because they're all prickly. <laughs> but if you have an attitude of gratitude, that abundance, it's the same vibrational level and uh, as grat gratitude and abundance vibrate the same. And so if you have the attitude of gratitude, things will start coming towards you instead of repelling. They're going to come towards you you'll find the right people. Maybe you want to start a new business. You'll find the right people in that line of work, in that line of occupation. You'll start attracting people who are in the same mindset as you. You'll start attracting people that you can network together to work a deal together. Maybe it's a real estate deal. I don't know what your dreams are, but you have to have clarity on those dreams. I've talked about that before too. You need to go seven layers deep on your why as to why you want a different life and why you want to go after this. So being in a state of gratitude, you can't be in a state of negativity. So if you find yourself in a state of negativity, you need to turn that around into a state of ad, uh, gratitude. That alone is going to change your vibrational level. Check it out. So, I just want you to think about that. 95% of your life is repetition. It's your paradigm. Wake up. Wake up! Wake up, wake up, wake up! Become alive again. Go for a walk and smell the winter air. It's crisp and it's clean. Be thankful for the small things. <laughs> I, believe it or not, I'm thankful for my hair. You know, it keeps me warm. It keeps me warm. If I had short hair, my neck would be cold. I, I don't do short hair anyways. But, I mean, little things to be grateful for. I'm grateful I have a sweater to put on to stay warm. I'm grateful I have shoes on my feet. I don't have to walk around barefoot. If you were to wake up tomorrow, think about this. 
if you were to wake up tomorrow and you got everything God granted you or your higher power, however you want to call them, granted you everything that you were you told him thankful for the night before and you said thank you for the air that I breathe or the warm house I have my health what would you have tomorrow think about that awaken your soul and your spirit come out of that slumber of the 95% of repetition and start living a life don't just drift down the life the 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 river of life grab hold of that rudder and direct your life because without direction you're just gonna float and you're gonna get what you get but if you say okay I want I want this whatever it is that I want that house or I want that car or I want this relationship and you go towards that, when you work towards that, then things happen. You've heard the saying, when I shoot for the moon and if you land among the stars, then you're going to be in a better place than you are now. It's the same concept. That concept of directing your life instead of just letting life, as my husband says, you're doing life instead of life doing you. That's pretty good, I think. Instead of you just going with the flow of everything, that 95% sleepwalking, repetition, paradigm, you're making plans towards what you want in life. I hope something has touched you and awakened a spirit inside of you. I thank you so much for stopping by today. Once again, if you like what you see, hit the notifications for my next upload. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe down below. Until next time, you have a blessed evening, blessed day, blessed life. And talk to you soon. Bye-bye now.